Hey guys, I'm back. So, it's just a post-production tip on how to create a haze uh, environment and atmospheric effect on your architectural rendering. So, without further ado, let's get started. Okay, the thing is, like, first of all, understand why do we want to create an haze? and uh, the atmospheric effect on your image the reason behind is the in natural environment there is some kind of a dust and some dust particles so we so the foreground object looks always sharper and the background object is always looks little dull so on this principle the atmospheric environment works it's just a basically a dust particles in the air this is uh, this is the raw render it's completely a raw render. I haven't done anything on it. It's my old project and uh, I just thought to make uh, tutorials. So I will tell you some of the ways to make the environment effect. The best bet is if you have your, the Z depth pass from the 3D person. Like if you are doing the 3D, it's good. In the, in the render elements, just take on the Z depth and give some values according to the distance of your scene. And uh, as I got the Z depth pass from the person who did this shot. So first of all, what you need to do is like it's Z depth and uh, as you can see, the background color is getting little dull and uh, the foreground color is completely white. So first of all, what you need to do is just invert it by pressing Control I. And uh, then as you can see, it's inverted and we can put it on screen so by doing that what we what we get is little desaturated and uh, foggy environment and the best part in z depth is we get the sharp edges of the foreground objects so as you can see it's a uh, very less effect on this building and the trees is getting desaturated as well as looking far from the camera so this is the first step the second step, if you don't have the ZDEV pass, you can very well create your own ZDEV pass by making a new layer, brush your background areas. So like taking the white color and just make it little spots. And obviously we can go to filters, blur and Gaussian blur, Gaussian blur it so that the spots won't be so highlighted so this is the way we can make it just down the opacity of it and uh, you can also delete the foreground objects by lowering down the opacity of your eraser tool like this so you can create fig zeta by this way the next way is just make a new layer and then and put a gradient of black and white it's a third by default it's a third gradient by default black and white and so you have to put a gradient like this uh, actually no you have to make it from the bottom of the scene as it's closer to the camera so you have to make like this so see the black area is what is completely visible to us and the white area is what uh, the fog white area is showing the fog so if you want to like if you want to make a longer gradient you can also do that like this so put it on screen and here we go we have a gradient just lowering down the opacity and it will be treated as a fog the other method is just duplicate the background layer put it on screen and then go to filters blur gaussian blur put gaussian blur according to the need of your scene and uh, for example like for me this is kind of okay and uh, desaturated by hues and also you can adjust the lightness if you need and then erase the front part of this so the closer object is much more contrasty and the background area is little bit hazy and desaturated as we actually it's it's kind of overpowering right now because uh, it's too much for a view 
like for dramatic view anything can be done and uh, as it's overpowering for now you can lower down the opacity of it so maybe 50 will do yeah this is kind of okay like again if if it's a po if i did a post production on it it will be very good view but i haven't done a post production yet so it's little dull and uh, kind of okay scene the next way we can do is this is the fog thing now what we what if we want to create a sun first of all we need to keep in mind what's the direction of the sun like in 3d where the sun is so as you can see the shadow shadow is coming from here of this tree and for for i can guess the sun might be here or some somewhere here so you have to just i just selected this uh, optical flare you can use your null light factory plugin or uh, just google it by writing optical flares and put it on screen and uh, the area should be here i guess you can put it here by going to curves wow my control m is not working strange control m what's wrong never mind you can delete this extra areas if it's in your optical fare and uh, then then adjust the sun accordingly so as we adjusted the sun and what if we want to create the fake volumetric rays so for fake volumetric rays just make a new layer because volumetric rays took a lot of time in 3d application so it's better to make it in post as it's very efficient as well as very less time consuming the way you can make your rays is by just making a normal with normal brush you can do that by doing this manually if you want to make it manually just go to and go to filter make it gaussian blur apply noise on it add noise monochromatic noise then go to blur and radial blur so you can make this way by like it's not looking good right now but we can enhance it by just giving some little extra time and the same procedure what we did but the other method what i usually use is uh, I just have some brush presets here it goes so it's a it's just for making a raise for example just for like this and uh, we can tweak it according to our scene mm, like the shadow is here so like this and put it on just apply a Gaussian blur, little Gaussian blur, as well as put it on screen. So this is the way we can make a raise. It's kind of a we. It's it's very. Uh, I use it in very subtle manner, so it's very subtle for now. But you can use any way you want. And by chance, if you want this uh, brush presets, the, there are ten to twelve presets of this these kind of brushes. If you want. Uh, you can email your ID under the video and I will definitely email you the Photoshop brush files. So uh, that's it for today. Like if you like my channel, just please subscribe it. It's obviously it's for free as well as uh, you can have a no notification on whenever I post a new tutorial or tips on post production and just share it like sharing is the best key. So that's why I'm sharing with you guys and uh, just share it in your Facebook or Twitter social media accounts it will be very good support to me so thanks a lot for watching guys bye bye take care